What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School of Marina. Today we're going to talk about nitrogen narcosis. We're going to look at the definition of it to, to understand exactly what it is. We're also going to look at some of the causes and effects of nitrogen narcosis and then we're going to talk about how you can actually prevent it. Now when we talk about nitrogen narcosis, you may hear it referred to as simply the martini effect or the rapture of the deep. Some people refer to it as inert gas narcosis and of course some just simply call it gas narcosis. Now it's also important to note that nitrogen is not the only gas that has a narcotic effect on us. However, it is the most common. So let's take a quick look at the definition and hopefully it'll help us understand it a little bit better. When we look at nitrogen narcosis, we need to understand it as a reversible alteration in our consciousness that occurs while diving at depth. And this is because nitrogen has an aesthetic effect to us while diving at higher partial pressures or at a higher atmospheric pressure. So if we look at nitrogen in general in the air that we breathe, it makes up about 79% percent of the gas that we're breathing and under normal atmospheric pressure it's fine there's no really effect to us because it's an inert gas but then again as we increase atmospheric pressure the partial pressure of nitrogen kind of acts just like this stuff here does and if we drink too much of this we understand that we can get in a drunk like state and that's basically what nitrogen narcosis is it's a drunk like state and we're going to have some of the same causes and effects of it or the same signs and symptoms, if you will, as being having too much of this in our system. Maybe a drunk-like state, may have an altered mental status or poor mental judgment. It can even cause hallucinations while underwater. So let's look at nitrogen narcosis on the board real quick and let's try to understand what the level of or the partial pressure of nitrogen is or what it has to reach before it becomes narcotic. Now it is important to note I'm going to be using a baseline here of 100 feet or for you metric guys out there 30.48 meters as an average because nitrogen narcosis can set in anywhere say between 80 feet and 120 feet and based off your tolerance to it just like someone's tolerance to this stuff here it can change. Now using that baseline of 100 feet in standard breathing gas our partial pressure of nitrogen is 79 percent. At a depth of 100 feet or 4.03 atmospheres the partial pressure of nitrogen is going to be 3.18 so we're going to use that as the baseline of when nitrogen narcosis sets in. Just understand this is an average it's not going to be the same for everybody but for the typical diver 3.18 is the highest partial pressure of nitrogen you can take before nitrogen actually works just like this stuff does. So some of the things that we can do to help prevent that nitrogen narcosis is simply don't go to 100 feet. And this is why a lot of times we tell new divers stay away from that 100 foot mark until you've built up a tolerance to nitrogen simply by going diving constantly at shallower depths. And as we build up that tolerance, we can work up to the 100 foot depth. Another thing that we can do is switch the breathing gas that we're using while diving. And if we simply switch over to enriched air 32, that's going to help us because we're not taking on quite as much nitrogen. In enriched air 32 we're breathing a percentage of 68% of nitrogen. To be able to reach the 3.18 threshold or partial pressure we'd have to go to a depth of 121 feet before this gas would have the same effect as say plain breathing gas. Now it's also important to note that when we switch gases there's other things that we need to understand such as oxygen toxicity and when we look at enriched air nitrogen or enriched air nitrox if you will oxygen toxicity is very important to us. So at a depth of 121 feet of course we're going to hit oxtox and the reason is is enriched air 32 our maximum operating depth is only 111 feet so we need to understand what the best mixture of gas to breathe to help prevent nitrogen narcosis at a depth of 100 feet is and simply put that would be enriched air 29 because at a depth of 100 feet enriched air 29 is going to be the best breathing mixture for that depth so several things that we can do to help prevent nitrogen nitrogen narcosis is one, simply don't go to 100 feet till our body has time to build up a tolerance to it, or two, change the breathing mixture to where our partial pressure of nitrogen is a little bit less than what it was when we're breathing air. So in short, if 100 foot is that threshold, the best breathing mix would be 29%, and even at that, don't go to 100 feet until you've built up a tolerance by making several dives. Guys, I hope you found this video very interesting. I hope it kind of opens your eyes to what nitrogen narcosis is. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them the best and as quickly as I can. If you want to know a little bit more about this, check out the SSI 
Science of Diving course or the SSI Nitrox or Enriched Air Nitrox course as well. They're both great courses to help you understand a little bit more about oxygen toxicity and even more about nitrogen narcosis. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, simply smash that like button for me. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. As always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.